Good morning from the heart, our morning daily devotional. The reading for today is entitled The Fruits of Mercy, June 27. Blessed be the tie that binds our hearts in Christian love. The fellowship of kindred minds is like through that above. Matthew 5 verse 7 Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. It is the duty of the children of God to be all light in the Lord and scatter blessings upon the path of others. They are not to say, Be ye warmed and be ye fed, and do nothing to relieve the necessities of those who are in want. We are the Lord's purchased possession, and as his human agents, it is our positive duty to administer in temporal and spiritual things from the store which God has given us. Love must be kept in constant exercise to inspire faith in God, that praise may be called forth from human hearts to God, and that the golden chain of love may bind the hearts of humanity together. Those who are recipients of the mercy, sympathy, and compassion of God should pass it along to others. The Son of the Infinite God is our pattern. Heaven is full of mercy, and it is constantly outflowing not only to a favored few, but for the blessing of those who need it most, for the benefit of those who have the least pleasantness and happiness brought into their lives. Those whom God has made stewards of capabilities and means, he commands for their own interest to lay up their treasure in heaven, and as he has given freely to them of his bountiful mercy, to give freely to others. Instead of living for themselves, Christ is to live in them, and his Holy Spirit is to lead them to dispense wisely their goods, being merciful to others, even as he is merciful to all. No man or woman can be a follower of Christ and live for self. In proportion as goods are entrusted, they should be dispensed to others. The humblest men and women are to trade upon the Lord's talents, realizing that what has been lent to them should be returned with usury to God. Though we have but one talent, if it be faithfully consecrated to God, and employed in acts of mercy in temporal or spiritual things, we thus ministering to the wants of the needy, our talent will increase in value and be noted upon the heavenly record as exceeding our powers of computation. Every merciful action, every sacrifice, every self-denial will bring a sure requital a hundredfold in this time and in the world to come, everlasting life. Thank you for listening. Shalom.